The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. They are excited today. Yes, they are, as they should be. Yes, they should. Uh, welcome into the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Uh, I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I have the very usual and best DEI hire of all time. Please welcome Mr. J.P. And ladies and gentlemen, the only two-time funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, Derek the Wreck Alders. I need my own belt. You do. You do. You do. I mean, <laughs> we've got one. Uh-huh. We've got three of them. Yeah, that one's fantastic. That one, the the handmade that one. Be- the handmade one's way better. Yeah, I, I, I have it. We still have this. I, I know the listener that made this. It's the best. It probably doesn't listen to the show anymore. Probably because you don't display his shit. I know, but I still. You keep think he it. went I through cherish. all that to make that belt, and he doesn't even listen to the show anymore? <laughs> No, he probably is just like, fuck those guys. I spent so much time on this belt. And I guarantee that took some fucking time. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. 100%. 20, 20, 30 minutes. Easy. Yeah. And he paid to ship it. Yeah, yeah I know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fucking go. impressive. Uh, but yeah. You Which can... is more money than I would ever give you. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, but yes, uh, we've got an excellent episode this uh, this week. Um, we've, we're, I mean, we may just run all over the place. I don't know. We may have... Never have I ever, and that's why I draw the line. Questions and preguntas. It just kind of depends. We may derail this motherfucker at some point. We may just derail. And, and that's going to be okay. Uh, if if we do, cool. then Put we me do. on the tracks. We will. <laughs> hey, I'll tie your ass down to the tracks. Nice. Uh, we that's will have, have. That's the way I would have wanted to go. We right. will have a draft. Like a 1930s cartoon. <laughs> Absolutely. Like a, my mustache. Yes. All right. With a coyote with a T. Yeah. <laughs> But it's one of those handrail. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? The yeah, fucking... I know what you're talking about. No, I want a real fucking train. Well, we I don't, don't think have that those handrail, yet. That handrail will just maim. <laughs> That's fine. I, I want to die. You'll just, you'll just <laughs> yeah. be a torso. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, but we will have a draft in a shitty situation. But we are going to kick this off with uh, what's been going on with us for the last week. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of these episodes, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes, period. Not just about sports, about everything. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and uh, offend people, apparently, and get kicked off of TikTok Live and Facebook Live and all the others. So... If you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, man. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> we were gaining some traction there on TikTok. I was like, well, if I was feeling good about it, and then fucking nothing. Yeah, and yeah. also, if you have hemophilia, eat shit. <laughs> okay. Mm. I, all right. That's thin blood. Scott. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. All right. Uh, but no, uh, we'll kick That's it off. That's the cure then, it huh? Do, it doesn't clot, I think, is hemophilia. So, if, oh. you, if you eat shit, that helps? Maybe. I don't know. That maybe just slather some shit on the wound. And okay. Maybe it'll clot. Yeah, it won't put you into septic shock. Maybe you put a like light that. inside the body. I don't know. Drink oh. bleach. Ooh, I don't drink bleach. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fucking yeah, clean out the system right there. Uh-huh. That'll do it. Ivermectin or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Shit yeah. Is that's my ivermectin on it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, the shit works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> if, yeah, it does. If, if it ain't you're a broke, horse. don't fix it. No, if you're <laughs> yeah. a human, it works. Started giving them to horses, and that's why Arby's had to stop using horse. Exactly. Because of the ivermectin right. and the meat. Jesus Christ. Cool. Which Joe Rogan podcast was that on, Scott? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not one. I just know about this shit. Yeah. God, you fucking crazies. Anyways. Yeah. yeah. Make America great again. Oh, God. I uh, okay, JP. 
How was your week, God damn it? It was good until I came over here Sunday night and tried to go live. For it was a lot of fun. 25 it, people. It, it, tur- it was nice to see those 25 people. It, but, uh, it was fun. Started real, really it, good. It started really good. And uh, you got to experience what we've experienced before many years ago when we started going live. And uh, we Eight would people. get... Huh. Eight people? <laughs> no, we, we got all that. the dude. We had seventy something on TikTok, and then it just For fucking a, cut us off and got pissed at us because apparently we said something hurt somebody's feelings. Cool, my report worked. Yeah, it worked. Uh, it worked like a charm, dude. I never Thanks. knew that they listened. That's so then, great. then we went on Facebook for a while, and we got I think up to like. Couple hundred? No, dude, twenty five. I, I thought it was more than that. Well, you were wrong. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> twenty five. Yeah. Maybe eighty if we're lucky. But yeah. It was like cool. Then we went to seventy five in dog viewers. Then we went to <laughs> then we went to YouTube yeah. for a while. Yeah. And I guess they all sent us threatening shit afterwards. Oh, cool. So that's awesome. good. Yeah. But TikTok's the only one that cut us off. The other ones were at least decent enough to be like, you know what? Let them get through this, and then we'll fucking and reprimand then we'll, them. And then yeah. we'll email them and say, hey, Easy, uh, buddy. bad boys. Who said yeah. threatening shit? The listeners or, the, or YouTube? Oh, uh, probably both. <laughs> yeah, it was probably I mean, a little both. Probably a little bit. But, you know, it is what it is. I blame the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, surely it was nothing we said if you surely got a not. problem with these two you just come right on down to one one yeah one. nope <laughs> thanks buddy appreciate it uh but no other than that or call us at three no ones. <laughs> stop <laughs> one of these days you're not gonna be here i know and we're gonna give out all your information <laughs> i know and i'm gonna have to move which i'm <laughs> fucking thinking about doing anyways that's but, cool yeah have you thought about idaho i heard it's nice uh, i heard it's really nice no lots of potatoes yeah, ohio no. as well mm, if yeah, you're looking right. for uh but no other what than about the, dover you can go to delaware delaware would be fun that's a good idea i yeah. think let's just consider it done yeah okay all right it's got cairo delaware that's a good place yeah i've been told that's where the pyramids are yeah, yeah. exactly cairo sure. delaware that's yeah. right that's right i think the aliens built them <laughs> <laughs> i think it was paul revere it could have been that's a good theory as well yeah. oh jesus Who Christ. actually a lot of people don't know this took ivermectin Oh, yeah, oh, oh, one of the first humans. Yeah, that's that's how we <laughs> to, built the pyramids. He was right. all jacked up, on, jacked up on ivermectin. <laughs> that's such fucking, an old fucking drug. That's cool, man. Yeah, uh, that but, makes sense actually. Now, yeah, uh, have you have you? At he least, never got COVID. <laughs> you sure shit didn't. <laughs> I know that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but look it up. He yeah, got, he got the plague. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, but hey, for what it's worth, I don't know if it's true or not. But it was on the New York Post, I think. But I don't. It could be fake. Probably not. It's, it could be fake, but I guess Kansas is suing like. Uh, oh, yeah, no, yeah, that's, that's real. True. Okay, that's real. <laughs> that's no, that's real. real. Like COVID yeah. vaccinations for not showing how much risks that yeah. came with them. Oh, no, I was saying they didn't work is what it was. Oh, they didn't I, prove I, that. I heard risks too, health yeah. risks and stuff. So yeah. I think hey. there's a plethora. Uh huh. Well, all right. Kansas well, is like, fuck it. We're hey, gonna get our money back. I guess so. <laughs> Whatever. Good luck with that. Wait, wait to be from Kansas. Uh, but anyways, no. Other than that, JP, <laughs> did you do anything else fun? MKGA. M- Make Kansas great again. I'm, it's already pretty fucking bad. Bacaw! But don't tell anybody. <laughs> I don't want more is. people coming uh, here. I didn't. I just. You're moving to Delaware. What do you give a shit for? I'm probably moving in town. I'm just. I just am thinking about Cairo's moving. a town. I understand. In Delaware. I yeah. I, I don't Ooh, want to go there. That's where they filmed the Transformers movie. In Delaware? Yeah. In Cairo? In Cairo. Fucking A. There, there you go. Remember? That sounds like a good time. They're in the desert. You yes, should buy a shirt. Fucking B- you buy should. a shirt? Okay. Yeah. All right. Good Delaware mm. references. Miss those. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, have you started watching Sugar again? I finished it. It was really good. They okay. set it up for another season, which I love. Hopefully okay. they follow through and have another season. Yeah. Uh, but then I started watching uh, this thing on Hulu. It's called Becoming Carl Lagerfeld. You know who that is? Fuck no. Of course you don't. Is that the prequel he's to a, Human Centipede? He's a, desi- he's a designer. <laughs> oh. He's a yeah, designer. Yeah, Pretty yeah, close. JP, that, that is right up my, my uh, wheelhouse, it, is fucking designers. All right, well, it's pretty gay, Jesus. I'm not going to lie. But I love it. It's yeah. fucking fantastic. That Except it's dubbed sense. over. It's oh, done no. in French, but no. the, the English is dubbed over. No, and dude. It takes a minute to kind of get used to, but then you get used to it and you don't really notice. No. I can't do that shit. That that stuff bothers the hell out of me. If it's dubbed, it's worse than if it's subtitled. Well, it's both. <laughs> Fuck off. 
You can do both. You don't have to have the subtitles, but I find they help. No, like the only time where subtitles are cool is like Shogun and Apocalyptico. Or what or about Apoca- Apocalypto? What about that one movie? It was all subtitles. Which Christ one? on the Cross. Or Squid whatever. Game oh, was Passion? subtitled. That Passion of the dope. Christ. Yeah. yeah. My, my mom took us to see Passion of the Christ <laughs> as a family. Did. Fucking didn't yeah. work. No, <laughs> Damn not it. even a little. Squid Game was all dubbed. Squid, Squid Game, game yes. I couldn't get into it. You I did. never watched it. It's fantastic. I don't. I don't even know if Jesus could have won. Yeah, it's a. It's basically it's just the tough. most most deadliest game of red light green light ever. I mean, that's practically what it was. No, there were like five games, man. I you can't. Just the Come first on, episode. Scotty. No, I can't. I can't get into that shit. It's Me fantastic. neither. Fantastic. Uh, somebody said like the new Godzilla movie is fucking amazing and it's all in uh, Japanese and it's like one of the best ones ever and I'm like that's fantastic I'll never go see it because it's all fucking subtitles I met that guy Godzilla yep <laughs> yeah he's probably your fucking uncle I'm guessing yeah, no I met him in Japan oh yeah, super did. uh, he doesn't say much Su- <laughs> didn't say didn't much say super kind quiet kind of keeps to himself <laughs> yeah kind of a okay. loner kind yeah. of a loner yeah all right. Uh, anything else, JP, at all? Um, Did you bowl? No, man. No? I just saw you Sunday. That's right. I forgot. No, but that was actually kind of funny because... But like, I did bowl Thursday. Oh, you did? Bowled really good, except for the last game. Okay. Well, so so uh, how many games did you bowl? One? Four. Oh, four. Okay. I know this. Hey, I'm man, lear- I'm in I'm third learning. place. I'm learning. Don't be fucking jealous. Out of what? Three? Out of like 30-something. Oh, yeah. okay. And it's a scratch, like one of those top scratch leagues in the fucking city. That's awesome. So you can go lick my fucking cock. <laughs> you, you, what a dick, you dude. Beat, you beat the shit out of Litsky, right? You know, I'm so happy that you won Wichita's Funniest Person <laughs> I twice. Know. I tell all my friends I know you. You should. I fucking build you up, dude. And then you come in here and you stomp me into the fucking ground. <laughs> I don't appreciate it, man. This is my month. Well, I don't. Yeah. Like, I don't appreciate you going around telling people you know me. Oh, first and foremost, all, all, all apologies. <laughs> my bad. Most of them aren't very impressive. That helps. <laughs> That's more me. You probably don't mind if JP does, but if I do, it's just uh, like fuck. I don't like that guy. Who the fuck that. are you again? Exactly. I don't bowl with Keith. You don't. Keith doesn't bowl anymore. He plays paddle ball. Oh, uh, the fuck. Paddle ball. Pickleball. Pickleball, oh. paddle ball, whatever. I thought fuck. it was like the ball with the string on it. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> he was just like fucking That's hardcore it. into it. 98, 99, 100, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107. <laughs> He's walking down the street with a cheeseburger in one hand and a fucking thing in the other. And you're like, hey, what's up, Keith? Hey, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that would be how he you would react. You ruined it. That oh, would be how he would react. A hundred percent. Throw shit. Oh, uh, God, that's good stuff. All right. Well, anything else down there, JP? Uh, no. Oh no. Yeah, there was. Uh, there was a bu- uh, not a buddy, a, a coworker of mine that saw you today at the gas station. Oh yeah, man. I told him to tell you to go fuck him, fuck yourself. But what I should have told him was go fuck yourself <laughs> because. <laughs> How you go ahead and tell the story, buddy? Uh, I got I didn't appreciate he's it. He's a driver. That's all he does. And he, but he recognizes JP because he watches clips of the show. And he basically comes up to me and he goes, he goes, hey, I think I saw one of your podcast buddies. I go, oh, which one? And uh, he goes, I don't know. Uh, I said, was it the skinny one? And he goes, no. And Fuck I go, you, whoever <laughs> so, you are. So then I go, oh, it must have been Derek, not the gay one. He's like. I don't know. I said, what color was his car? And he's like, black. And I'm like, yeah, that's definitely Derek. And it turns out it was, it was you. <laughs> yeah. My car is green, that's by the way. Great. You well, fat piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, I know. That's fucking so awesome. So great. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, that's fine. Have I, another Dr. Pepper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I already had half of this one. Just start don't drinking worry. diet, man. You know, that's that works. No, it doesn't. Because do you know how much shit I fucking shove into my fucking body? taco shop fucking oh, yeah. noodles and company i just eat out all the time yeah well if you drink diet then you get to no, eat, that eat regular help, dude i'm just kidding it no. doesn't it's all the it same does. shit it still gives you the diabetes it, the sure it still does that's right it's 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 all the, that sugar yeah it's yeah. fake sugar it's it fake is. diabetes it is fake diabetes. it's harder to treat it's trying to fucking pose as diabetes mm-hmm. uh i don't know derek do you want to go or you want me to go you go ahead okay because i have a fucking I got a lengthy one. All right, wake me up when you're done. No, the whole it's actually kind of cool. So the first thing before before <laughs> you and I went live, yeah. I, I went live by myself. I do every once in a while just to check in on people. Yeah, no big deal. You did. So I found out that like one of the guys that I actually I don't think I ever played. Uh, it, I don't ever played against or anything like that. 
but he was a pitcher for Wichita State, and he got on and left us comments, and he listens every single week. And he was a redheaded pitcher from Wichita State from 03 to 08 with the nastiest fucking changeup, and I knew exactly who he was. And so I thought that was pretty fucking cool. He listens to our episodes. Who was it? His name's Noah Booth. Okay. Uh, like Redhead, you say? Redhead. Baseball player? Yep. Let's have him on the show. Might have possibly <laughs> taken my mother's position at her previous job, Derek. Oh, okay. Slash my old high school, Noah. May have to have a beer over that one. Uh, but I anyways. Don't think, I don't think he knew. Oh, I know he did. No, 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 <laughs> yeah. no, no. No. My mother quit. Yeah. <laughs> my mom left. Gotcha. For a good reason. And it sounds like so did he. Uh, but anyways, um, the other thing is, is uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I, I finally had the memorial for my friend who passed away. Um, it's been like three, four weeks since he did pass away. Uh, his name was Drake Tra- Drake Kraus, <clears throat> and I hung out with uh, a lot of friends from like high school uh, for the first time in like ten years. And so it was. Uh, there was like twenty five of us that did when did this like open open bar thing for like two and a half hours, and then we went and closed down Waltz. Holy shit. Waltz was popping back in our day. Not anymore. Oh, my God. Ghost Town. It's probably an old people place. Kind of, sort of. And yeah. when you have 25, 30-year-olds <laughs> walk like in. like going live on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely it's like true. Jerry's now. Jerry's yeah. is like all like 50-year-olds. 50 pe- 50 I olds. know. Really? Dude, we used to party hard there. Dude, I, I lived in the apartments next door. Yeah. That was the best, Dude, time, best yeah. time to turn 21 because I didn't drive. For yeah. Sure. I just walked to the bar Fuck and then yeah. walked home. Nice. and. I hear Jerry. Oh. I hear Jerry's is a swingers bar. Mm-hmm. Might be. Maybe I'm, I had to I go mean, back in there. I mean, Cougar <laughs> swingers. Yeah, yeah. that's that's well. legitimate. What what uh, that's what cool. I hear. God, I'm like 42 now. They so have a I swingers don't... bar here now. What is it? They the guy owns the one here. There's one in Vegas and one in Oklahoma somewhere. Hmm. Diamonds something diamonds. Denim and diamonds? No. no, no. Oh, I was going to say, no, that's a country something, bar. Something diamonds. But anyway, they came in to eat one day, and he gave me his card. He's like, hey, we're having a party. You know, come on by. And I was like, uh, so I looked it up, the bar or whatever, and I was like, oh, <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. Big Why not? You Mr. never know. Mr. Complain about can't getting laid. Yeah. And then Dude, like, they oh, looked I'm going to pass They, they looked like Derek. Perfect. (laughs) Your type. Right. (laughs) Yeah. Right. No shit. No, I passed. Um, yeah. So I guess there was there was a lot of fun. It was nice. We kept on going around telling each other. It's like it's really sad that this kind of shit has to happen in order for all of us to come together. Uh, so yeah, that's my advice. If you got friends that are like really close friends, you don't come together. Yeah. With your friends, dude. Of course, all at the same time. Played. Play Limp Biscuit all over limp again. Biscuit. It was a lot of fun. Eat the Limp Biscuit. Eat the limp finishes biscuit. last. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow I always hold out to the last. <laughs> I did the most <laughs> douchebag move. I did. What did you do? I was, I was, I wasn't, I was kind of playing wingman for a friend. She was actually the waitress at the private club and then came over to uh, Waltz and I was wingman and him. The private club. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. He means the banquet room yeah, at Denny's. Dude. Yeah, exactly. Right. No, it was, it was nice. Uh, it was but nice. no, I was I was I was trying to wing man and I I did fine, but like I think I just got drunk and and then kind of kind of just bailed. But I I don't know I. I don't want to go into details. It's not good. Well, I, you basically just said nothing. I, you gave I, us a teaser, yeah, I, and then you said nothing. Did you finger? Uh, Is that no, what no. Be honest, man. I was you basically, slipped her a finger. No, I didn't. I was trying to talk my buddy up, but then I kept on bragging about my wife. Is basically what I did, and I think that I kind of was stepping on. No, I didn't. Oh, no doubt. My wife was there. Let me smell your finger. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bitch. Uh, but yeah, so did that, and then we had uh, then we had the live on on Sunday, and then I've actually been like di- watching a lot of TikTok late at night, and TikTok is fucking rage baiting me in to go on and argue with some people. Yeah, and I'm not gonna do it. Don't do it, man. I'm not gonna do it. it but, and they're all ca- they're all coward pieces of shit promoting communism, and I just like oh, want to get goodness. on there and and do some. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, I did hear the most um, accurate description of what eating pussy is supposed to be like uh the dude i've been listening like to eating cat vomit hold on no 
No, his name. The I, I've like been soggy pennies. I, yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah, dude. Okay, so the fat electrician has been like somebody who I've deep dived in all of his videos lately, and I've been watching him on a podcast that he does, which calls unsub or unsubscribe. Anyways, he he was telling a story about when he and his buddy were in high school. His buddy went down on a chick for the first time, and he said, "Dude, I don't think I like going down on girls." And he's like, "Why?" And he goes, man, I just don't really like the taste. And he's like, well, what, was it like sour? And he's like, no. He goes, did it taste like ravioli and old pennies? And he's like, oh, my God. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. How did you know that? And he's like, dude, she either just recently got off her period or is getting ready to have her period. Give it a few days, try it again, and let me know. And then he goes, good pussy tastes like the hot air that comes out of the back of a PS, uh, PS PlayStation. <laughs> And I'm like, holy shit, that is the most accurate fucking statement of all fucking time. Unless you don't clean your PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Xbox guy. Yeah. <laughs> you sure are. Yeah, I'm an Xbox guy, thanks. Yeah, so I, I laughed very hard at that. But uh, to wrap it up from last week, 14% Unbelievable. of us motherfuckers fuck with our never. socks up. We, were, we said 10%. I was being... And we were being yeah. generous, and uh, we thought yeah. 10%. Yeah, 10% was what I said, and it was 14. And it was wow. different on other on like other platforms. So mm. I was crazy. pretty shocked. I was yeah. uh, very shocked. So does that mean you have to fuck with your socks on all year for the rest of the year? Me? Because sure, that's going to happen not zero fucking times. Anyone. That's not, yeah. <laughs> no, I think the bet was if we, if, if whoever won. So you're, you're in the clear. You can still fuck without your socks on. Well, yeah. You hear that, boys? Yeah. There you go. DM me. Yeah. So, anyways, that was, uh, that was my week. Uh, and we're very happy to have Derek Alders back. I'm imagining baseball. That's it. Really? That yeah, it's work and then leave work and go to work. Yeah. Uh, Saturday was a fucking disaster. Oh, what happened? Uh, I like I like the president of the team. I do. Uh, I think he's really cool and I think he's good for the team. Okay. And I think he's great. Um, but uh, every now and again he'll give me like I'll get like last minute stuff and I'll do it. Now, yeah. That's I've gotten accustomed to it at this point. Like I know shit's going to come in at the in very last minute. But uh, the first pitch was walking. They, we had five first pitches on Saturday. Of course, oh. they were on their way. To, they were at the mound, and they're and they're like, "Hey, we need to add uh, this say this sentence to this first pitch." If I don't write it down, I'm gonna fucking stutter it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and the way I have to write it, I have to cross something out, write that, and then add something in at the end of it. Mm-hmm. So he's like, "We need to add this in." So we get clarification on what it is. I'm writing it, and the other dude that. I'm not a huge fan of you know who I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Uh, was like we got to go right now. We got to we we got to go, and I'm like, I'm writing it down. And he's like, we got to we we don't have time. We got to go. And I go, no. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> we, we we have to go right now. We got to go. And I go, no. <laughs> and I said I'm writing this down. Then I'll go. And he goes, we he he said we have to go. I said, well tell him I said he can fuck off. Oh, and God. I'm writing it down. He goes, <laughs> hey we we have to go. I said fuck off. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and then uh, I finished writing, and I got so pissed. I read the first pitch uh, like I was a member of Bone Thugs and Harmony. Because <laughs> I was like, if we have to go, fine. And I was like, ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention down the field for tonight's ceremonial first pitch. Throwing out the first pitch is so and so. He's da 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 blah 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 blah. Let's see that pitch. Like that's exactly how I read the first fucking oh, pitch. Oh god! And I feel bad that I did that to that guy because that guy had nothing to do with it. But I was more pissed. If you're that guy, hit us up. We'll <laughs> right? fucking get revenge. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, and then the other three went, and then I had to fuck it. It was Grady Dick was the last one, which fucking made me want to vomit. I don't know who that is. That's the dude that played for KU, KU that got oh, drafted yeah. by the Raptors. You know, Black Dick. And I had to fucking. Jersey switch. I yeah, had to say yeah. in the fucking read, Rock Chalk Grady, or Rock Chalk Greyhawk, or Jayhawk Grady, let's see that pitch. And I wanted to fucking hang myself. <laughs> And I'm like, I go, I already fucking hate this guy. And I was like, and I still want to read his shit right. Cause that's yeah. the one I had to fix. Yeah. And I was like, I still want to get it right. I said, so fuck off. <laughs> and I was like, and I read it and I got it done and I threw up and then, uh, got through the rest of the game. Threw up. Yeah. For yeah, having to say that. Oh up. yeah. Oh yeah. And then fucking my, my, my best friend, Brian fucking text me and he's like, Oh no! Oh, and like Cake posted it with like clear audio. Oh, nice. No. And I was like, "You motherfucker!" Nice. He goes, "Did you have to say it?" And I go, "No." And he's like, uh, 
And then he sends me this. I'm like, you lying motherfucker. I'm like, they superimposed me. <laughs> yeah, I was super, what the fuck is superimposed? They chat, they chat GPT yeah. that shit. Uh, so, yeah, that fucking <laughs> superimposed that dude, me. It sucked ass. I so. I would have I would have let somebody else say it. Oh, I, I tried to get the the music guy that day, Lewis, to do it, and he's like, "I'll stutter all the way through it." I'm like, "I don't give a fuck." Yeah. <laughs> you <want to> say <laughs> and say it. No, uh, but I guess that's what you got to do when it's what you do. Yeah, buddy. dude, I felt like a whore. <laughs> <laughs> like I guess you doesn't can, feel good, does it? Yeah, it turns uh. out it's only twenty bucks an hour is what makes me a whore. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I guess you can come on my eyes. <laughs> like that's just Jesus Christ. For those of you that don't know, Derek and myself hate KU oh. with a passion. And uh, I'm glad he said it because I will dude, never I, say oh it. Oh, man, dude. I couldn't never. do it. I couldn't. Uh, I they know. could offer me a million dollars a year to be the PA announcer for the Jayhawks, and I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I know. Or I would for a day. Yeah. And <laughs> just get, yeah. I would get fired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, shit. All right. Leading <clears throat> off this bitch. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> yeah. Come in. Come. I, I would love fuck. to fucking see it. Uh, Just and it. he strikes out. No surprise there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and he hit him. I owe you a beer. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking, uh, they did start playing walk-ups for the other team. Yeah. Which was pretty funny. Oh, great. So me and Chooch, the other music guy, had come up with some songs. I come up with maybe fucking four of them chooch come up with all the rest but uh we had some of the ones we had the other team walking up to i think he had like dude looks like a lady uh we had baby shark which the front office nixed because they don't like the song oh no yeah that wasn't very i wasn't very pleased with that one. Oh, uh, that's um, weak my favorite one that we did i had him do the the shitty recorder penny whistle from titanic <laughs> <laughs> And that's that good. was fucking hilarious that's great people were laughing at it <laughs> uh so that's we were excellent. yeah we were doing uh i think good we did call. uh milkshake by calice oh and that one even better yep. that's even better so we were we were doing shit like that and that was pretty fun yeah so well good man i'm uh well i'm glad you were able to come in for this uh this show uh hope uh hope your season continues to go as great as it sounds like <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> fucking glorious <laughs> Yeah, I, I hope so badly that they not only have Grady, like he tells all of his friends that it was a great time, and you just have another Jayhawk yeah, week after so, week no. throwing out. So my boss at the bank uh -huh. had told me that he was talking to somebody from the team high up, and they were saying that to get Grady Dick to come out to throw first pitch, it was twenty grand. Oh my god! And he's like, I'm, "We're not." paying that no and so they had a sponsor come out and do it central standard brewing sponsored it i don't know what they paid but wow they paid him to come throw the first pitch oh man yeah yeah so it's like hey would you like to come to your hometown and throw your first pitch yeah 20 grand i'd be like fuck you man yeah, dude screw you i'll yeah. give him 20 grand and a blow job exactly <laughs> but you want to have jeremy joseph go out and throw it free free, free. yeah <laughs> that's more like it Gotta yeah yeah all right. Uh, well, we do have uh, we have some hot topics that we're going to go over this week. Hey, you know what, Derek? I love it. You don't like it. JP likes it. I, I like it. it. It's a lot of fun. Every time he says it. You want to do it? You can try. You can try it. Try it. I already hoard myself out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, oh, man. Oh, that's disgusting. Dude, yeah. I bet you're made of Hot Pockets. I, 100%. No. Those are your favorites. No, I haven't eaten a Hot Pocket since I was like 25. <laughs> The sad thing is, is that's 15 years ago. Yeah, right. 17. 17 oh. years. 42? Yeah. Oh, God, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, I'm, thankfully I'm on the way down. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Wow. I'm almost done. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we got some hot topics that we're going to do this you week. Fucking, keep I, laughing, assholes. <laughs> Uh, but no, this actually was uh, something that... What was uh, the question last week? Have you ever been hit so hard in the nuts that your <laughs> octaves go up? Oct yeah. yeah. It's going to happen, Scott. I believe it. Oh, yeah. Uh, but no, we got a, we got a, uh, at least a couple of questions. You need uh, to take some ivermectin and bring that voice down. <laughs> well, it might. Uh, but, but Litsky wanted to ask me and you uh, a question about this week's fantasy football picks. Uh, okay, sounds good. Uh, JP just nixed on that. 
Anyways, uh, but me and Derek, uh, we got we were basically asked, would you take or who would you take for your number one overall fantasy pick this year? Ed Hockley. Ed Hockley. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's a good pick. Yeah, he'd be all right. That was a great pick. Substitute. He's still in. reffing, isn't he? No. Yeah. No. Uh, Is he not? I don't think so. Okay, then his son. Yeah. Son, yeah. yeah. Ed's, Ed's not reffing. His son is. Okay. okay. I'll take yeah. Ed Hockley's son. No, but do you think you can? Uh, you can Rufus. actually put your faith in Rufus Hockley. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think that's his name. Well, for sure it is. Rufus. Rufus, Rufus Edward Rufus, Hockley. Yeah. Rufus Hockley. Right. Rufus the ref. I, <laughs> yeah. Right. I like it. I uh-huh. think, yeah, we should go with that. My favorite is people that don't watch baseball, and they fucking refer to the umpires as the refs. refs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, God damn. That is a You'll see that one. on, like, the Windsurge pages. Well, the refs fucking killed us on that one. Like, yeah, oh, okay. yep, sure, sure did. did. We didn't score enough points, did we? No. <laughs> Should have went for two. <laughs> That is a pretty big pet peeve. We got one guy on the team that sucks shit, and uh, I texted him the other day. I think he made two errors on the same play or something, and I was like, that guy has all the talent of a special Olympian. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> then I forgot I had two new people in there. Oh, so man. I got a, they and they were special Olympians. Right, yeah. yeah it, was, it was a make-a-wish day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Uh, but, no, do you – would? Do you have the confidence in Christian McCaffrey? I always tell people this. You absolutely have no idea what's going to happen in the season. Derek, though, believes that it's scripted. I still don't. Influenced. Okay, influenced. Oh, you're, you've changed. He's, yeah. he's No, the refs are told what uh, which way to push the outcome. And then right, okay. right. So do you think the influenced referees are going to uh, hurt Christian McCaffrey this year? <laughs> it's influenced. <laughs> Well, influence meaning like, hey, we uh, we, we want to, these two teams we, to win. We, yeah, so we need to start calling some pass interference here. Get this guy, get yeah, these guys back. Yeah, we're gonna need you to come in on Saturday. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, you never know. If you get the number one overall pick, I, I think you go with the last last two. You, you go with Tyreek, or you go with uh, Christian. I'll take McCaffrey though. That dude's. I mean, he had one of the best seasons I think ever last year, and I don't think he missed much, if anything. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm taking Christian McCaffrey. That's my number one overall pick. At at least at this point in time. Gay. What? That's this coming. whole fucking question. Uh, Gay. Nah. Uh, well, I I'm just saying. fantasy football. Why? I've I for win a guys lot. Guys that can't play. I win a lot. Well, good for you, man. Derek quit the league because I beat him so no, many times. No, I quit the league because the fucking it's influenced on how the games turn. Right. Out. If we had influence in the league, maybe he'll join again. Okay, maybe we if they can fix work the on. if they fix the refs on the in the NFL and it, they make it to where it's not so goddamn blatantly obvious, I'll start watching again. Don't they have referee unions in NFL? Yes. Okay, that would be the problem because that's how that's how Angel Hernandez uh, stuck around for as long, and he just got absolutely lit up on social media to where the to where he finally retired. Did you see that they're suing the NFL? The who are who is it? Dur- er, there's a mass lawsuit against, I think it's the NFL for what DirecTV did. They should. They did because it's like uh, saying you can only, you you have to watch all of them and the price is so fucking high to where you should be able to just like pick a team yeah, and, and just get that team. So there's like a class action from the last like 10 or 12 years Good. Um, that just got brought like within the week and i think yeah. that's uh, but the thing that that they're going to have trouble with is that uh i don't i'm now i granted i don't know about the pricing and stuff like that but if it's anything like mlb mlb you have to do the same thing kind of yeah it's, it, it's you, antitrust is, is what it is i think mlb you can do a team now no i'm i think i had that option but it was still too, too expensive. you can select your favorite team but you will still get blackouts and so that's, like fucking stupid which baseball. which is yeah. and here's the thing we need to increase <clears throat> more fans but we're not gonna let you watch yeah. the game yeah so here's the fucked up thing in kansas city which i think i brought up on the show before if you are a kansas city fan in wichita kansas you uh cannot get premium mlb and watch the games on your phone or stream them because you need to have if you sh- if you have cable you can't you can't uh, watch him on your app and the other thing is is because they are on regular cable they the app can't have that channel and i can't remember if it's bali if valley sports valley yeah. sports for kansas city because it's yeah. the same thing for st louis and those motherfuckers are going bankrupt so yeah it, it's just an absolute fucking yeah. mess. and then you got teams that have their own fucking network like the, Yankees. the, Yankees, the cubs have one too <laughs> and yeah. but you can't get marquee here 
Is it still? It's not still WGN. It's Marquee. Marquee, the Marquee Network. Okay. Yeah, and you can't get it here. Well, you but, can only get it in the Chicago area, and it's like I have like twenty five dollars a month for Marquee Network. But if you get ba- but if you get premium, you can. You can watch them. You, all you day can long. watch MLB.tv, but yeah, you can't. You just can't get the marquee network. Gotcha. Like, why would I you see. have your own network but not be able to fucking broadcast it everywhere? Yeah, that agreed. It makes absolutely no fucking that's sense. Fucking retarded. It Whenever is. I get it's my stupid. network, that's the way I'm going to do it. Okay, okay nice. Then, yeah, you'll have probably somewhere along the lines of five to seven viewers. That's <laughs> like, all I need. Like us on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like going Facebook Live all over again. <laughs> that's right. Uh, but you'll probably charge $25 a pop, though, I'm guessing. Oh, at least. At least. Worth every penny. Uh, I thought this was kind of funny. Um, there was a mariachi band at a uh, Texas Rangers baseball game over the last weekend, and they decided to not only play some mariachi music, but they liked. They, they decided to play uh, Creed's uh, Higher, Can You Take Me Higher, in mariachi style. I thought that was pretty Probably funny. still sucked. <laughs> Why would you take two annoying things? Yeah, and that seems what bad. Put them, yeah, what are they, yeah, they going to combine next? Bad. Like Lizzo and kidney stones? Is that what's next? <laughs> no, that's Lizzo and diabetes. Uh, but the, they they are a match made in heaven. Uh, hmm. But no, like, why would you do that? I had I had that makes absolutely no sense to me. And there was a whole bunch of people like, dude, that fucking rocked. I'm like, no, of course there were. I'm like, really? <laughs> Really? Oh man, dude! It, like the '90s, like in 2000s, kind of rock music is coming back. I like to think that they played that in the dugout and wouldn't leave until they got until <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so they got tipped. Yeah, Fuck like yeah. like Corey Seager's like, no nah, man, you no no here here go away. They were out. In, they were out in the outfield. Like they yeah. were out in like the place of honor out in the outfield the playing place of playing honor. playing. <laughs> can you take me higher? With a Mexican accent, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, I, oh, I, I figure we might as well bring this up. It's not on the notes, but uh, Justin Timberlake got arrested. Yeah, today yeah. in New York for DWI or something. I heard. What was the, what was the whole deal? Like what? Happened? I don't know. Well, it's probably drunk driving. Well, like, of course. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> sure. Most time that's what a DWI. But I bet he fucking killed that that sobriety <laughs> walk a straight line. <laughs> He probably moonwalked that yeah, shit. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. I was thinking the same thing. I bet he could do it. Oh, Lord. I guess the cop, I, the only thing I heard said the cop smelled something and then that was what it was and didn't know who he was. Come on. Come on, dude. I don't know, man. If you're a younger cop, you might not know who that is. That's he hasn't true. been relevant in like fucking 12 years. Yes, he has, dude. Troll movie, son. <laughs> yeah. Trolls. Yeah, animated. That's like you don't five see his years face. ago, but no, dude. He may not have known who he was when he pulled him over, but once he got his ID and shit, you got to know who Justin Timberlake. One hundred percent, and is, and you have to make that decision as a cop. And, and it was me, a, it was a fake ID. It said Rufus oh. Oculus. Yeah, all day long, I'm writing that bitch a ticket and putting him in the back of my cop car, okay, Mr. Rufus. One hundred. Oh, I'm giving him a chance to redeem himself. <laughs> I knew I'm like, he I should I take knew. you to jail, but. I bet we could work something out. Yeah, I, I knew like. You I like would. to think that I'm not the first old creeper that's tried to suck his dick. I guarantee it. I like to think he's in the back of the cop car. Like, do you know who I am? And the cops like cry me a river. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he was on Disney. Yeah, he was on Disney, but that yeah. wasn't the thing. the The thing though was, um, oh fuck, what was it? Nickelodeon. No, they were all doing. No, it. he's like he's like Jimmy Fallon's best friend. He's on TV all the time. He's yeah. married to uh, the most gorgeous woman on the face of the planet. Um, and and yeah, everybody knows Tate what. Tate McRae. No, that chick's banging. No, really? Yeah, Jessica Biel, man. That's like oh, dude, that's my dude. Job. I saw a picture. I don't know if it was real of Jennifer Aniston the other day. What a disappointment. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, our face is all fucked up and sunk in and. Uh, it looks like, from what I, somebody was saying, it was like bad... Uh, bad Botox. Bad tear duct filler. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, dude. It's disgusting. I'll show you. And I never thought I would say that, because I've wanted to fuck her since I was like nine. <laughs> it makes me sad. <laughs> <laughs> she's got to be 80 by now. No, she's uh, 60. Still. Uh, because what's her, what's, what's her nuts also that. just turned 62? Rachel. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's her name? Sure. Yep. Whoever. Nah. I don't... Uh, Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox, Arquette, are they still married? I don't think so. There it is. Ugh, nah. Ugh. Yeah, rough, man. 
I'd still do it. I'd still fuck her. I, I don't know, man. That shit will get better. Yeah. Yeah, when she goes and gets it done again. Uh, like, I don't uh, know. Uh, That's fix okay. your shit, Jen. <laughs> Just fucking do her from behind with her face into a pillow, man. <laughs> yeah. With with that one scene from We're the Millers playing. Yeah, right. Like, on a and the fucking Friends theme song playing Play in, in the background. background. Yeah. Abso-fucking-lutely. Um, would you have done any of the other ones? Would what? you Would you have done... Um, Phoebe or Courtney Cox? You're asking the wrong dude. No. Me, well, no. You, you, you mean know? Chandler, Ross, or right. whatever the other one is? Joey. You know what yes. I'm saying? Chandler, yes. Ross, not even with Derek's dick. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have lent it to you anyway. Well, Joey's. You'd never give it back. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, that that motherfucker's so hot. That's fucking weird. Would you have yes, done any sir. other ones? Matt Courtney, Courtney Cox or... Have you seen him lately? Yeah. Lisa Kudra? That motherfucker yeah. looks good. Who? Matt LeBlanc. Matt LeBlanc? Dude, he's he just got gray got hair. Gray and fucking, but he's still fucking massive. Well, and he looks like he could throw me up against a fucking wall and just give it to me. When he was thirty years old, he was he was already turning gray. They, well, he, he's they had hot. To, they had to dye his hair. Uh, you like would a lot. be lucky to be a fifth of what Matt yeah. LeBlanc is. I agree with you, one hundred percent. Okay. Uh, but uh, moving on, I guess we better, uh, I guess, mention that the uh, Boston Celtics have won their 18th NBA Finals championship. They stomped a mud hole in their asses, dude, they except did. for one game. They did. And, and, and Dallas stomped a mud hole in their ass that one, one game. game. Yeah. One game. Yeah. Um, and I, I've only seen highlights. I don't watch the NBA anymore. Derek, do you have anything you want to put in? There? I know Luca bitched like nonstop because he fouled out in like game three, mm -hmm. I think. And he was like, "How do you foul out in the NBA Finals?" And it's like, "Cause you foul." Cause, you know, <laughs> yeah, because you're a dumbass. Yeah. yeah. Are you going along that lines as my uncle too? What? Do you hate Luca as well? Uh, after that statement, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Okay. Uh, I was asking uh, Chooch, who sits next to me at the, and mm -hmm. does music. He's huge in the NBA. And I was like, so what's the deal with it? And he's like, man, they just go at him because he can't play defense. And he loves Luka. And he's like, he can't play defense. So they just fucking go <laughs> at him, and he fouls. Yeah. And that's how they beat him. Mm, he's like, if makes sense. He's like, that game, would have that would have been a tied series at 2-2 two to two at least going into game five. Had that they didn't go at him like that, so I don't know. That's what he said. So it I sounds didn't watch like it. the strategy worked. Yes, yeah, it's so. like hack a shack. <clears throat> yeah, only okay. only you you can't play defense. So we've got uh, hockey. We got the NHL finals tonight. What is it? Uh, what is it? Three to one. So if I remember correctly. So Florida only has to win tonight to win the Stanley Cup Finals. Correct. They got the Stanley Cup out there. I saw them wheeling it out. So, the, they so, got it there. They're so ready. I'm, I'm guessing that we all think Dude, tonight's the night. The Oilers won the last game 8-1. to one. I get it. That's crazy. I, I, in, in the finals, yeah, eight to one. Hey. But here's the thing, Florida Bobrovsky, he's never going to let anything through him tonight. They're done. Uh, I uh, I did see the the gal final the gal yeah. that showed her tits kind of went under a bridge and made another video of uh, of her talking about it, like oh. com coming out and saying, "Hiss, I'm the one that did that. I went to a game. Here they are again. No, she no. goes. She goes. I went to a game." To my favorite hockey team, I drank too much, and I showed everybody my tits. And if you don't like that, fuck you. Okay, tornado warning. All right, we got another one coming. Great. Good deal. Awesome. Ah, it's far away. Yeah, it's, we're yeah, good. We're fine. Uh, but, yeah, she, she basically said, if you didn't like me showing my tits, fuck you. Yeah. And you know what? I respect that. I moment. bet you do. I respect that if very, Derek very much. If showing his tits and saying that, you wouldn't respect No, it. I would say that is indecent <laughs> exposure. Yeah. Put him in jail. No, you wouldn't. I would, too. 100% You'd I be would. like, let me motorboat them shits. <laughs> no. And I'd have said no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Shave no. first. But, uh, yeah, so I, I do, again, really have a lot of respect for, for that one uh, Canadian fan. Uh, you should come down to where the party's at in the United States of America and, and have a good time. But, yeah, so uh, we're basically calling it tonight Florida Panthers win their, uh, you know, what is, like their third Stanley Cup fi uh, finals in, like, I say, uh, five I say, years. I say Edmonton yeah. wins tonight. You think so? Yeah. Okay. They're good. at home. They're, are they? Yeah. They're, they're in at Edmonton? Edmonton? I thought they were in yeah. Florida. No. Okay, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is Hot Topics. There you go, Derek. Uh, <laughs> uh, now we are going to move on to Never Have I Ever. 
Uh, we have uh, a few of these. I thought some of them were good. I thought some of them would kind of open up conversations with, uh, you know, other stuff. Uh, so we're going to kick this off with Braxton Lint. He wants to know, uh, never have I ever known someone who has broken their dick. I no, knew JP was going to know somebody. I knew, knew it. I knew it. I think I, I almost broke my dick once. Oh, Jesus. It was really close. I don't know. I mean, it hurt for a long time. I oh. think I sprained it at the very least. <laughs> I did glue popsicle sticks to it and wrap it in, wrap it in medical tape. Turned it for into a, a week. For a week, built a birdhouse out of it. Yeah, um, <laughs> he's fucking splinting your dick. Well, it hurt. Oh and, man. Uh, yeah, sometimes, man, you uh, just miss the hole and no. you've got that momentum behind you and fuck I, that shit is not good. Okay, so apparently now. Uh, I do now. I do. <laughs> I don't I, think I broke it because if I did break it, they heal really quick. No, because I, I only had the splint on for a week. <laughs> <laughs> only for a week. Good for you. I what mean, a, you're the only person I really know who's ever had a dick injury yeah. of some kind. Not yeah. not an STD. That's I've also had where this, an this STD? guy used a little too much teeth. You oh, never had that happen. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a girl, word. but oh. not a guy. Yeah. Um. But no, I have, and that's <sighs> very not good. Derek? Derek? No, fuck no. <laughs> you sure it wasn't you? No, and we wouldn't fucking tell anyway. <laughs> like who? I don't know anybody that would be like, dude, I almost yeah. I broke my fucking dick. <laughs> like it, you're never gonna live that down. I don't know, man. If you're laying pole so hard and you just something happens, she changes positions, laying but it's still pole? in there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? If you're laying pole. Yeah. All laying, right, man. Laying pipe. Okay. Sure. All right. Same that's, thing. No. No. Nah, I've never heard anybody say lay in pole. Uh, you know, whenever both. you're muff diving and <laughs> you just have to lay the pole. Yeah. And you, you got to stop and just lay the pole. And it's really good because it smells like the heat that's coming out of the back of a PlayStation. <laughs> mm, I don't know about fucking, all that. It's true. It's uh, fucking accurate. Not the one I got all. Uh, well, that's because that, was, that you got a you got a ripe one. <laughs> yeah, I'm if, guessing if the PlayStation was at the bottom of a river for a couple months. <laughs> oh. God, you smelled pulled it up, smelled like, it in. Smelled like the old Atari that's been in the attic. Oh, yeah, man. right. <laughs> like Pong. Oh, that's so <laughs> funny. I swear to God, the next time I'm going down on my wife, I'm Ugh. just going to start laughing, and all of a sudden, she's going to know what I'm laughing about. Uh, all right. Anyway. What if she just beeped? What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beep. Yep. Yep. Eject. <laughs> oh, gross. Never mind. Uh, like Grand Theft Auto 5 just shoots <laughs> just out of her. Out of there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fuck. All right. Next one, please, like, for the I'm love of God. I'm just going to put her in rest mode. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> Say, save my progress, please. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Okay. This comes in from at Big Mike F. He wants to know. Never have I ever imagined being with someone else during sex. JP, you've thought of Scotty before, haven't you? Don't you fucking do it. Twice. Fuck! Um, no. no. I've never thought of Scotty while I'm having sex. Thank Only God. while I'm jerking off. Fuck! <laughs> See, here's the thing about fuck. gay people. If I want to think about someone else while I'm having sex, I'll just grab that person and say, hey, come have sex with us. Yeah, all right. That's the thing. Fantastic. I mean, yeah. I, 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 you didn't never do that to me, thank God. No, but when I jerk off... I think it's ninety percent of the time, man. Why? I don't know. It's not it's, cool. I, I can't help it, man. Yeah. If you had to pick one spot on Scotty to finish, Stop where it. would you pick? Stop right, it! Right in his nose. That's disgusting. <laughs> Stop it! Oh, that's horrible. Oh. Yes, I have thought. You never of- get rid of that smell. No, no. Smells like a back of an Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Correct. <laughs> oh, that's what you get, all of you Xbox fuckers out there. Now, uh, They'll leave you a nice little halo. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Yes, I've thought of somebody else during sex. Last I, uh, night. No. <laughs> Before I uh, before I married my wife, I haven't done it obviously since. But well, but I'm whenever flattered. whenever I uh, I was da- I I mean I'm not gonna say I had like a one night stand that wasn't very good, but 
will say it was something very similar to that and it uh yeah i didn't i didn't want it to be her so that's uh yes i have done this hopefully it wasn't a relative definitely was not okay good nope she was about 15 years older than i was though so Derek. nope nope Nope. I, He's had sex the, one the with few, one the person. The few times I get to do that, I, I just bask in it and be like, <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. It's going to happen. This is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> All right. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the best five seconds he'll, yeah. he ever has. Yeah. Well, you know. You have to ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough. For yes, <laughs> always. And oh. mine apparently is not. not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then last one comes in from Keith Allen Prather. He wants to know: Never have I ever shit in the bushes on a golf course. Nope. Nope. I've never been on a golf course ever. No. I have, but I've never taken the shit in the bushes. Absolutely not. They have like bathrooms. Yeah, that's in weird. the clubhouse, or uh, I think at the furthest away from the clubhouse, they always have at least two. I fell off the ball washer once. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> trying to shove it up your ass, were uh, you? No, he's mm. trying to wash his balls. <laughs> there you go. Dumbass. Uh, sorry. <laughs> My God. <laughs> well, I don't. Wow. Fucking, I don't fucking know My where it's God. at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, not that one. It's for me. Uh, but Boy, no, I, good how job. does this show get produced? I don't know. Uh, me, I guess. Yeah. Uh, no, but no. no wonder Facebook and YouTube <laughs> kicked, kicked you off. Uh, no, they uh, didn't kick us off. Uh, they TikTok. just gave us a warning. TikTok was like, was like fuck, fuck you. you. All right. Yeah. I don't watch this show. So I, I know. know. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, but that is never have I ever. Now let's move on to some. Uh, that's where I draw the line. This is JP's favorite part of every single episode. Okay, I modified this first one because I think I know what he was trying to say, but it just wasn't in English. Uh, This one comes in from Roger Colton. He wants to know, at what point will you just concede an argument with your spouse, and what arguments will you die on that hill? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm pretty easy. I, I don't, I'm not... As far as like if when I had mm-hmm. a spouse, well, that's why I, I didn't. Mean. We didn't argue much. Yeah, yeah. I can't think of anything that's worth fucking arguing over. Yeah, I mean, we've been together for coming up on ten years, so you got to pick your battles. Yeah, for you sure. know what I mean. If it's if it's something <laughs> stupid, yes. But if it's a big one, what do you got? Once this motherfucker. I came home from work. I worked a double, and we worked uh, ten hour shifts. So I worked twenty straight hours, and came home and got hot pockets out of the fucking freezer, put them in the microwave, started microwaving them. We did get into an argument about him drinking, oh. and uh, he got pissed off at me and grabbed the hot pockets and threw them at me, <laughs> and they just fucking spoof against the wall and they're fucking slim like. Motherfucker, that was the last goddamn hot pockets in the house. All I wanted was to eat, shower, and go to bed. And I got pissed off, so I just went over and started fucking dumping out all his alcohol. <laughs> oh, that pissed him. Oh, boy. Oh, man, that wasn't oh, good. Oh, man, yeah, yeah you But, don't, yeah. Yeah, you don't <clears throat> That's do one that. of the bigger arguments. I And I think it was the argument was just like, you drunk fuck. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, I like the the small battles. I think you kind of you, you let them go. Oh yeah, right. You let them go if you're smart. But if you try to tell me what I can and cannot do, I will I will die on that fucking. You wall. don't do anything. No, like you mow the lawn. No, well yeah, I that's do. it. Yeah, I, but I go out from time to time with friends. Invite her, and if she doesn't want to go, no, I go. No, but I mean you don't do anything but mow the lawn no like, i do a lot more no i don't think so i know you're wrong i'm not wrong yes you're wrong what else do you do he weed uh, eats name one thing <laughs> yeah i weed eat <laughs> name one thing no i i you do i like to golf jp i like to right. snowboard i like to no, I, I like to go something out with that, something, friends something to help your wife around the house 
Oh, like what chores? Anything besides mowing the lawn. I help her with the dishes and shit like oh, that. You're so full of shit. Yeah, I I helped. I dig a fucking hole when we had the basement almost oh, flood. Man. I help fold the laundry. I'm just trying to tell you why she's gonna leave your ass. No, dude. I'm, I'm trying at, to I'm help pretty, you. I'm pretty easy. I help with a lot of stuff. Okay, man. Play a hard game on the show, but yeah, no, but I'm a, really, I really plus. do love her. You she do. really is. awesome. You should, dude. She really she's is awesome. awesome. I don't know what the fuck she's thinking. It's because yeah, I'm I'm a much better person off the show. Her and Katie really got to get together. As are you. And, no, uh, they don't. <laughs> yeah, they do. And chat. Nope. Yep. I remember that one night we went over to Derek's to play poker and your wife came and I walked upstairs to go smoke a cigarette and they were on the couch just... I was like, They were oh. making out on the couch? Yeah, they were, they were just, <laughs> oh, okay. Talking. I was like, God but damn they it. Were, they were, you could tell like... As soon, they were talking shit because as soon as I came up the stairs, they both just shut up. <laughs> right? And then they didn't say shit. And then when it, when I came back in, they were like, nah, 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 and then they were like, they didn't say oh, shit. Oh, my wife like, has every right to hate me. I, yeah, love it's it. totally I don't know why my wife loves me. Oh, I have totally, no idea. Totally acceptable. How about you, Derek? Well, same deal. We don't really argue, which is weird. Uh, the one time, the one hill I died on, I've talked about it on the show, and it was so stupid. Uh there was a, I think I traded JP for it at a Secret Santa open mic, and it was a picture of Tim Maggard. Yeah. yeah. And it was like, yeah. a, he was naked with a cat where his dick is. <laughs> and Tim weighs like 100 pounds. Why I ever got rid of that picture, I don't know. <laughs> and it was hilarious. And I had. I don't it, like cats. <laughs> I, I don't even. I had it in the guest room. Yeah. And she was like, Shit. her parents slept down there. Yeah. And she's like, we can't have this down here. And I was like, where'd my picture of Maggard go? Yeah. And yeah. She's like, don't worry about it. I go, what do you no, mean? I'm Where the fuck is it? it? And she's like, don't worry about it. I'm like, you better not have fucking thrown it away. She goes, I didn't. And I go, well, where is it? It needs to go in the ba- in the, in the guest room. Don't worry about where it's at. Okay, fine. I'm going to start taking pictures of your family down. And she comes out with that fucking photo. Yeah. And she's like, here. And, oh, dude. Uh, the look is the screensaver on my phone. <laughs> I'm not shitting you. Check this shit out. <laughs> it's, her, it's her contact picture, not screensaver. It oh, is yeah. right here. It is this fucking look. Yes! Oh wow! Yeah, Uh, (laughs) yeah, yeah. She fucking hates it. (laughs) uh, That was that was my hill. I was dying on. That's a good hill. That was such a stupid fucking. You gotta respect that. Yeah, that and the centaur when she moved it from the above the fireplace to in the bedroom. I was pretty 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 upset about that. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. that was a fucking masterpiece. Still is a masterpiece. That was still is still on the wall, but not where I would like it. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, next one comes in from Connor Pusser. He wants to <laughs> <laughs> gets me every time. Uh, what a perfect last name to go with a first name like Connor. <laughs> You're so mean. Me? Oh, yeah. I uh, know. Oh, poor guy. How manly is too manly? That's his question. <laughs> That's the question. Seems like a question you'd get from a Connor Pusser. <laughs> That's why I chose it. Have you seen those TikToks, Be a Man? Oh, yeah, 100%. I love those. They're great. Yeah, those are great. Yeah, we're friends. Uh, I think how manly is too manly (laughs) when you're not willing to let another dude suck your dick. You know what I mean? I Uh, think we need to stop that. Okay. No, I disagree with you there, JP. Well, that's because you're I really don't know. I just think Give me one shot at it. You'll no, man. You'll never go without it again. I don't I don't know, man. I don't know what if there is such thing as being too manly, to be honest with you. I really don't. No. No. I think I think there's all different kinds of dudes. I think there's different levels of manliness that they all have. I think the ones I think there's there's, I think there's ones that are very, very flamboyant that not very manly at all. And not you, JP, but well, your, what are you trying to say, your, man? Your month. Well, that's fine. It, that's not the question. But I don't think there's an. I don't think there's a, a limit of being <laughs> too manly, dude. There's a limit. I, I don't think so. I, I go to Quick Trip today to get cigarettes. This is kind of off the topic, but when you said, it just made me think of drag queens. <laughs> I don't know why, but I go to Quick Trip and there's this homeless man passed out, fucking by the trash can, sleeping. Yeah, he has on. A fucking vest, jean skirt, and like the most frilly pantyhose, like uh, 
you know, like uh, fucking doilies. You know what that is? Uh, I you know? think so. But they were black tights, but they were like yeah, holes not in fish them. nets, but they were like really, just really. I, what? Yeah. I don't know why he was dressed like that. I wanted to wake him up and ask him, <laughs> but then I knew he'd ask me for a cigarette, and I really didn't fucking have the time. <laughs> but it That's was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Why was he dressed like that? I don't know. Pride man. month, baby. I, maybe he's just you know trying to support you. Maybe he wasn't homeless. Maybe he just had a rough night at the bar. Possibly. Fucking yeah. Maybe he's a drag queen that lost his wig and uh, makeup and uh, I don't know, dude. Lord. It was a weird deal. I almost took a picture. Yeah. <laughs> I should have. So Derek thinks there's a limit. What do you got? Uh, the the ones that are like take no precaution and think that it's no problem. I can lift this two hundred pound fucking sack of shit and then oh. throw their fucking back out. <laughs> That's oh. that's too manly. When I think like, oh, I can pick this thing up out of the fire barehanded, no problem. I'm a man. But I think that's okay. No, those are lessons of being taught <laughs> lessons. You know, that's 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 he, too manly. I right, mean, it's also so. natural I'm selection. Yes, a hundred percent. But and it's that's, too manly. And that's kind of what I'm saying. Is I think, hey, you know, if you're going to be one of those guys that's going to be the hold my beer, watch this. You better fucking. I mean, you're going to be dumb. You got to be tough. Yeah, not oh, knowing man. your limits. That's uh, that's too manly. Um, they are playing in Florida. My bad. I was going to say, I know my shit because I saw them wearing the white jerseys, and I know that's the away jerseys on hockey. So yeah, Who was wearing the white jerseys? Edmonton. Yeah. So, And I wasn't even looking. Gotcha. You're good, dude. I, don't know. Damn, I actually did good. used to watch, uh, uh, yeah, it's a hockey. So uh, let's go to the last one. Uh, this comes in from the Boston Sports Nut. He wants to know at what point is it time to get a haircut? Right now. My hair. It's I'm about due to dude. It's it's long, it's curly on the top and shit like that. For me it's the bean stalks on the neck. When your neck starts yeah, growing down, right. yeah. That's but um, or like yeah. when your ears yeah, when your ears right have now. hair that's like folding over it and shit. Well, let me tell you, as you get older that shit fucking grows so fast that yeah. <laughs> you gotta just trim it yourself. Yeah. What a um and then also obviously like down here you got it all the time. That's like that's like a week. That's weekly. a hot wax. That's yeah. <laughs> that's, <a hot laughs> wax. that's if you're if you're not hot wax then you're missing out. <laughs> JP goes and gets his nuts Brazilian for sure. Oh my god, dude, you gotta you gotta take care and I'm, keep staying I'm ready. Not, I'm not saying you don't need to shave down there. Dude, it let helps. Let me see your hand. Feel them real quick. What? Dude, feel them. No, I'm not going to feel your feel nut. Them. No, I'm not. You, you'll never do it any other way again. If you do, watch oh. your nostrils. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to smell like an Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> But no, uh, you feel I, like that kid that goes swimming with nose plugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, oh. I bet you it just smells like fucking axe down there. Just fucking spray a whole can of that shit. I think it smells like an actual axe. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, like like iron. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, you, it smells like iron, like pennies and ravioli <laughs> no it definitely does not never will <laughs> all right well ladies and gentlemen that's where or that's where i we draw the line apparently this week uh, now we get to move on to some questions and preguntas again guys thank you very much for participating in monday friday keep your eyes peeled for the next one if we like your comment we'll put it on the show and give you a shout out so thank you very much for all these people who participated uh first one's going to come in from michael bowerman he wants to know what's a car brand you will never own Probably a Volkswagen. That's probably a good one. I, I would say because a uh, they were kind of like and they were the car of the Nazi regime. Yep. Yeah. So <laughs> you'll probably have one. Hitler was uh-huh. in charge of designing that son of a bitch, and the yeah. reason why their suspension is so beefed up is so I they could pick. Uh, they could put Volkswagen. A, yeah, they could put a fucking machine gun and cut off the roof. Fuck That's yeah, what they dude. were for. Volkswagen plus mm-hmm. the repairs. Yeah, they're expensive. Good God, European cars are nice if you can afford to maintain them. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's kind of where I was going to go. I was going to think of like any Italian supercar. That's what I I was was thinking. I was going Rolls Royce. Yeah. I'll never own one because I'll never never be able to afford it. Well, it's not even that. Like, even if you had the money to afford it, would you buy one? 
That's what I think I'm talking yes, about. Yes, I here. absolutely <laughs> would. That, that, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Like if the, I believe I'm destined to be riding in the back of a Rolls Royce. You're destined yes, to be someday. riding in the back of a Geostorm. <laughs> that's, I learned how to drive stick on a Geostorm. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that car was fucking badass. Geostorm. <laughs> Oh, that thing was fucking sick. Wasn't that like a one cylinder in that dude, one? Oh, God, it's That something. motherfucker was badass. Dude, I remember I, there was a dude that came in and like actually spent like $800 to put wheels on his fucking Geo Metro. Yeah. And they were fucking 14s, and he thought it was cool as shit because he made them 15s. Nice. And this was years ago, but it's yeah. like, come the fuck on, dude. Um, but yeah, I, I think I would never, even if I had a shitload of money, I don't, I'm not going to be the guy that buys it. I'm, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, when, right. when I have that kind of money now, next weekend, I am yeah. not going to spend, I'm not going to do a Lambo. I'm not going to do a Ferrari. I'm not going to do I like old classic cars, man. I like old American muscle. Give me a fucking charger. Give me a fucking Saturn. Uh, Chevelle, <laughs> Saturn. Um, Pontiac, Aztec. Really? Yeah. Fuck yeah. you. Saturn V. <laughs> like old classics. Give me a Saturn. <laughs> Give me a V. You, you know, uh, yeah. something no. sits up a little higher, but I can I can sit a family of five. Yeah. Yeah. Right? No, I want to I want a ninety eight like F one fifty, just regular cab, but, but it's stick shift. Like those are fucking awesome. They're good trucks. So, anyways, uh, next question comes in from Joe Gonzalez. He wants to know rejected slogans for summer. It's not for fat people. It's not. <laughs> That's what I was gonna yeah. say. Summer. You still aren't in bad enough shape to get put. Take your shirt off is yeah. what I was going to say. Summer, ask your doctor if your heart's healthy enough for sex. <laughs> Summer, please put stop putting your money in your bra. Oh, God. Oh, God when please, I worked yeah. at QT, oh. You know how bad I've always oh. wanted to pull my pull the change out from under my sack? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like they hand me a five, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, here, here's your change back. That's one, two. Hang on, that one's stuck. Two, three. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, man. I, I can think of some other ones, too. Summer, like, don't forget the deodorant in between your folds. No <laughs> shit. Oh, God. Uh, summer, take a shower. Some, summer, sandals aren't for everyone. No yeah. kidding. <laughs> summer, some people don't like to wear fucking flip-flops. You and I. D- okay. That's because Scotty only has all, always wears socks. I always fucking wear socks, and it's not it's not weird. Okay. Yeah. Fourteen uh, percent not. Uh, I know, weird. We, and we can go back to this, but uh, honest question. Uh, I already know your fucking answer, but do you wear like some kind of pajamas? Do you like wear gym shorts and a t-shirt? That's what I wear every day. Okay. In bed, all yeah. right. All right. I I. I legitimately wear like pajama pants and socks and a t-shirt. I I legitimately in the have. winter I have like some pajama. Scotty pants. dresses up to go to bed. He wears. I, I like to think Scotty puts on a onesie to go to yeah, bed. No. I can see him in a onesie. I ain't gonna fucking lie, and I, I don't give a shit. You have one. give me all the shit that you want, but I do. They're like plaid. They're they're like the I'm the sure stereotypical yeah. like yeah, plaid like Christmas red. card but with his wife but and they're the two like, dogs, and they're in their onesies. Uh, I guarantee it. We did get matching yeah. ones for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but no, they're like breathable plaid they're nice they're from like nautica and shit i had to order this them. question brought to you by maga yeah oh jesus get off of it hey man i'm just saying dude. it's not true but okay i bet you sent him a christmas card fuck no uh but anyways uh any other slogans for summer slummer <laughs> slummer 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 <laughs> slummer yeah. that's what my summer is yeah. gonna be because slummer i'm gonna get laid at all hot boy slummer for hot jason boy slummer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Hot do. Boy Slummer. I like it. Uh, let's see. Next one comes in from Andrew Bingham. He wants to know, is it possible to take a shit without peeing? I don't think so. I don't either. I've tried. Have you ever tried? <laughs> no. Con- consciously fucking attempt it. Oh, it's my difficult. God. No. It's difficult, man. Oh, man. Edmonton's already scored. Um, no, I don't think it's possible. I really don't. J- oh, no. No. JP's you know, thinking. I can't think of a time I didn't. I know. I've never just done a two. It's yeah, a one or a three. It's, it's, it's both, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's exactly right. right. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, exactly. That's weird. Yeah. I never really thought about it. But I think it's impossible. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe I have a- once, because I think the time I shit in the urinal, <laughs> I didn't pee. <laughs> that's I think that's, that's good. I was 14. That's nice. I thought it was hilarious when I was 14. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. Now that I'm 42, I feel bad for that poor man that had yeah. to clean that. Uh-huh. 
I would just use like a minnow net. Or uh, yeah. Something. I, 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 <laughs> I you know, I you cannot uh, fart, pee, and sneeze at the same time. You'll explode. <laughs> Science. You're welcome. I know you can fart and pee at the same time. I'm an but expert. But you can't <laughs> sneeze while you do it. I don't know. You I, can't. You can't? It's impossible. I want to say I have done that. You can't. It's impossible. Look it up. Okay. Google it. Okay. You'll explode? You'll explode. Uh, or implode? No, explode. Okay. All right. I can't belch. I can only fart. Oh, mm-hmm. only far, <laughs> only farts. <laughs> that's that episode of Letter Kenny nobody liked. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the only thing I can do. I got like a bad flapper or some shit. Mm, hey, when that so when I drink beer, it all it's not belches, it's farts mm. for the entire night. Oh, mm. bet your wife loves that. I bet. She started it. <laughs> <laughs> the first time we went on vacation together, we were dating and we went to Vegas and uh, we get in the hotel and we get checked in and all of a sudden I hear. <laughs> Oh, and I'm like, did you just fart? And she's like, I figure we're going to be spending the next four days in the same room. I might as well get it over with. And I'm like, oh, thank God. And I unleashed no. hell. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was a fa- solid five. The look on her face, <laughs> the solid five minutes of farting. And did she's you, like, what the fuck did I just get myself into? Did you lock the windows? No, we were in the hotel. Oh, you're in the. They're hotel. They're already okay. locked because in case you yeah. lose money, they think yeah. you're gonna jump right. out and kill yourself. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, you got to shoot them out. Yeah, yeah. That's- <laughs> and, and jump. Yep. Uh, let's see. Next <clears throat> one comes in from Wayne Fargnoli. He wants to know what subject in school did you have the highest and lowest grade in? Eh, just, just little fun facts about us. It's so crazy enough. It's the same subject. Subject. I. The first time I took it, I my score from daily not turning in my daily work was so low mm-hmm. that I aced the final. Nice. And didn't pass the class. Wow. <laughs> Dude, my teacher called me up and was like, hey, I'm going to ask you, and I want you to be honest with me. How did you cheat? <laughs> and I was like, dude, I didn't cheat. I was like, and I fucking went and got my backpack. I was like, here. These are the notes that I've been studying. This is the study guide I made. I was like, my fucking parents are going to fucking kill me when they see my grade. But maybe they won't if I do good on the final. I aced that motherfucker and still failed the class. Still (laughs) failed the class. Way to go. I Um, remember we had a teacher that wrote on the final. uh, She's like, make sure you read the instructions. Uh, Time starts now. And like the last thing in the instructions, the instructions were like three quarters of a page. And the last thing on the instructions was, uh, all right, in order to complete this test, don't say anything. Just turn your test over uh, and sit for the remainder of the period. Uh, if you fill anything out, you fail. Yeah. And there were, you could see, like, probably, like, ten kids fucking just, like, yeah. uh, fucking rushing. just sitting there yeah. like idiots. <laughs> yeah, you dumb <laughs> motherfucker. That's funny. Wow. Fuck you, Justin. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I was not a I, I did I did not do so hot in uh, um, chemistry. Oh, no. I did I didn't I didn't like it. Uh, it was it chemistry or it was it was one of the sciences? Uh, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> it's, Christ! It's pretty distinguishable. It's, uh, I'm shocked you didn't do well. <laughs> no, it, it's just like I, I don't like. Um, yeah, it was chemistry. It was totally chemistry. What's it the was, one where you dissect a Bunsen burner? Yeah, right. No, yeah. see, <laughs> like that's the other thing. Like uh, anatomy and physiology, I loved it. Uh, I was good in physical science, but chemistry, I didn't like. I didn't like electrons and all that other shit. It just wasn't my thing. Stupid electrons. Yeah, I didn't, stupid uh, neutrons. I didn't like the periodic table. Fuck that thing. I, um, liked, I liked Jimmy Neutron, but all yeah, the other but neutrons, all the neutrons can kiss my ass. Like Jimmy Neutron. Uh, but believe it or not. My um, sister got a haircut once, and I said she looked like Jimmy Neutron. Nice. So that's what she's in my phone as still to this day. <laughs> Fantastic. N- Nikki Neutron. That's um, funny. I was very good in English. I was terrible in spelling. And everybody who listens and knows the show, I'm terrible at spelling. I have dyslexia really bad, but I can write like a motherfucker. But my best overall subject was always um, like history. Uh, I, I, that's I'm, the I'm, class that I fucking I aced in, the final in dude, and failed. Dude, I'm into that World shit. World history. And I go down fucking rabbit holes and rabbit holes when I find somebody I like who's telling me about it. So, yeah. Very good. Derek? Uh, lowest, which is kind of surprising because I work at a bank. Math. Math. I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, I had a teacher. It was geometry, specifically Geom- Euclidean geometry. And I remember uh, it was a horrible fucking teacher. So the way ours worked was like if – I think here they do like semesters. Yeah. You yeah. got graded every nine weeks. You got graded every quarter. 
So it'll be first quarter, second quarter, semester exam, third quarter, fourth quarter, fourth quarter, final exam. And so if you failed, let's say you failed the first quarter, passed the second quarter, failed the exam, mm -hmm. you passed geometry one. Okay. If you failed two in a row. So if you failed first quarter, second quarter, you failed. Wow. If you aced first quarter, failed second quarter, failed the exam, you failed. Wow. So uh, everyone in that class failed. He gave us all an H. Whoa. Yes. On the final for, I think, Geometry 1. And whatever you got <laughs> on the final for the Geometry 2, he would change your H to whatever that grade was. I failed. Wow. That. I failed that second final. And uh, I went to sign up for Geometry again my junior year, and they were like, they called me down to the counselor's office, and they're like, hey, why are you taking, is there a reason you're taking Geometry again? Because you passed last year. And I was like, I did? And they're like, yeah. I go, how many, how many years of math do I need? And they're like, just two. I was like, sweet, what else you got? <laughs> so that was the end of fucking math for me. Yeah. I was done mathing at 16, yeah. uh, so I was terrible at that. Uh, best was probably <laughs> always gym uh, in English. If you yeah. failed gym, you're a fucking that's, piece of shit. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's true. JP failed it, though. <laughs> no? In English. Just athleticism. The ballet portion carried me over. <laughs> we did have to do fucking gymnastics my freshman year yeah. in gym. That did was you fun. really? Yes. They made oh, us, God. They made us pick like different events, like three things or two things. I think I did the balance beam, the rings, and the parallel, parallel bars. And I did the rings. I just fucking went up, grabbed them, and dropped them like, fuck this. <laughs> But you I was didn't all try right. to do any tricks. I couldn't. I was all right oh. on the parallel bar, so. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So do the pommel horse. That sounds like something I you could do. Good that. At. I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to see you do the pommel <laughs> horse right now. <laughs> but after I was fucking 14, 15, yeah. I could. No, but you would have liked it even it. better then, you uh, pervert. I would like to see you now. Yeah. <laughs> There's this kid at work. He's uh, he turns 18 later this month. Oh, so you're counting like, down. In uh, like 10 days, I go. I go. So my predicament is. Do I do it now? No. Or do I wait? I, and he goes, I'm a minor. And I go, but only for 10 more days. And he's like, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> poor fucking kid. Yeah. We're poor. obviously joking. He just put in his nine day notice. Yeah. yeah he did. Oh, shit. Yeah. God. He's out of there. And uh, last question is going to be from Jordan Gresham. He wants to know. Oh, my God. It's so crazy. He asked this question. Rejected Wheel of Fortune categories. Oh, I'm going to go with people who confuse Wheel of Fortune with Jeopardy. <laughs> no, they have them. They have categories. They have categories. Not really. Before and after. What are you doing? Yeah, before phrase. and after. Phrase. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think he's probably, I know where he's probably gearing, and I bet he's gearing towards Jeopardy. Okay. Well, he said Wheel of Fortune. He did yep, say. So we'll go with it. Yeah. Spelling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Right. I don't know. There was that one famous one on South Park, People Who Annoy You. Yeah. Yeah. That's Naggers. like one of the most famous one. Absolutely. Naggers. I was going to say something racist. I mean, like. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's like, yeah, racial kind of slurs. Racial slurs. Absolutely. That'd be my category. It's the same thing. It's the same thing as Jeopardy categories. It's just the clues are different. <laughs> retards <laughs> yeah that's the answer yeah. diseases <laughs> yeah. yeah venereal diseases venereal diseases words yeah. that end in rhea yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i like that that's good that's a jeopardy category that it should be a right. jeopardy category uh anything else anything else you guys want to talk about before we uh, get on to the draft let's do the draft let's do the draft man all right ladies and gentlemen now we get to move on to this week's laughing on the sidelines draft All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Can't do better than that. Yeah. Uh, fine. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this there is this go. week's <laughs> Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Huh. And uh, JP fucking won last week. Thank all of you lovely people that voted for me. Yeah. He had some good picks. I did. I, I think I had some... Really good picks too, but like apparently not. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but, you lost. But Fred had like more uh, philosophical. I voted for ones. Fred. I'm sure you did. I did. Uh, but so, anyways, that means JP gets an actual belt uh, for uh, his his winnings. Yeah, baby. Uh, 
Derek hasn't been here for a couple of weeks or a week or whatever it was, so he gets the overall first pick, and I get the Eiffel Tower picks, which are my least favorite. Um, but yeah, this week's draft is going to be things people waste their money on. Draft. Yeah, biggest wastes of money. Biggest wastes of money. Okay. Derek, you get your number one overall first pick. What do you got? To me, I never understand the people that go out and do it. Fireworks. Okay. I, uh, You're I, literally blowing up your money. You, I mean, yeah, it's true. I, I mean, yeah, but it's fun. It is fun. <sighs> but but I'd rather just watch somebody else blow them up. I, I, ho- I, 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 I go to shows that they do that. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it. Um, and there's a little bit of me that definitely – agrees with you but then there's also the me that's like hey the fireworks the fireworks places are closing down in like 30 minutes i bet you if we get over there we'll get everything for half price and it won't feel nearly as bad right so that's boy math that's just saying that is true (laughs) just saying it works uh but i'm gonna go with my number one overall first pick and it is the biggest waste of money and it's the hardest thing in the fucking world to cancel and that is a goddamn gym membership okay Everybody still has one. From I got like, one right now. It went for two years. <laughs> exactly. See what I'm saying? Yep. I rest my case. Uh, JP, you get two in a row. Exercise equipment. Fuck. Damn it. That's kind of the that same was, thing. That's where but I was it's gonna good. No, it's not the same. It's 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 no. true. Yeah. You always see treadmills on marketplace oh, yeah. for like ten bucks. Mm-hmm. Stair steppers and all that shit. Yeah. Bowflex. Yeah. True. Yeah. Yep. All right. That's a good pick. JP, what else you got? Diet fads. Diet fads? Like diet pills and diet, okay. you know, like take Nutrisystem, fucking Ginny Craig, whatever, those fucking factor meals, okay. all that crap. Right on. Stop eating so much, you fat fuck. Well, you were kind of getting on what I was going to pick, and I'm going to go with wiener enlargement pills. <laughs> oh, see, I don't need those. <laughs> Derek, he still has a subscription for those shits, too. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I keep slipping them in your drink. Your wife asked me to do it, and it's not working. <laughs> Will you sneak this in his lunch? Oh, Must have got the placebos. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> shit. Yeah. Like the ones that are at the gas station. Scott, he's like, yeah. why does my sandwich Christ. taste like M&M's? Uh, well. <laughs> I'm not complaining. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Derek, you get two in a row. House plants. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> House plants. House plants. That's a good one. Just get the fake motherfuckers if you're going to get anything. And this next one's bad because I'm fucking like totally just nailing my wife. <laughs> okay. For her, it's not. But for me, it would be. And I've got a bunch. Uh, books. <laughs> <laughs> I get books all the you time. And I never read them. Oh, like there's yeah. just a stack of fucking books. And my wife's like, which one of these do you want to get rid of? I'm like, your mom got me all these. I can't. Mm-hmm. <sighs> That's good. No, that's that's good. Uh, I, I've got one I, that I want to have come back, but I don't know if it will, and it's a fucking good one. Uh, so I, I, I think this one I, I'm going to take. I think it's the dumbest shit in the world, and Derek has one with him right now, and that is bottled fucking water. Drives me nuts. There's okay. just, just go get a fucking glass of water, dude. I don't I, trust your water. Why? Mm. Huh? I don't know what you've done to it. <laughs> Bottled water. The only time that you need to be buying... Ivermectin in it. I yeah, don't want to yeah, drink yeah. it. Hey, man, you too. know what? It'll keep you from getting COVID a lot more than that <laughs> fucking <laughs> shot did. But anyway, uh, but no, like seriously... Hey, bo- I've only had COVID 13 times. I know. And yeah, we I'll, talked about that we did, last week. We did. That's, that's one less time than I voted for Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but no, the, the bottled water, the only time you need to be getting a whole shitload of bottled water is in like a natural disaster or some shit like that. If you, if you keep bottled water at your house, you're naked. So far, I think you're going to win. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I, I know I won't, but it's okay. That, I can't believe you went. Uh, I can't believe that pick. You were like, somebody might take. Nobody's taking that. No, I skipped over the one that I, I wanted. Oh, okay. I, I picked that one because that one is actually kind of a pet peeve for me. Well, yeah. When my wife brings okay. home bottled water, I'm like, are you fucking kidding? Got you. Know, yeah. yeah. Okay, go ahead. Me? Yeah, you get two in a row. Uh, Snowboards. (laughs) (laughs) What a waste of fucking money. Snowboards if you live in Kansas. Okay. Yeah. Let me tell you, best fucking best money I've ever spent in my life. Stupid, stupid fucking money. So fucking worth it. Okay. And the bindings that went with it. Right. Uh Uh-huh. And Uh, and uh, next pick. Timeshares. 
Oh, that's a good that one. That is a good one. What a fucking just crap think, whole waste think, of money. I think JP's crushing here. Uh, he is. He is. Wait till you hear my last pick. <laughs> it's okay. fucking the icing on the cake. <laughs> I'm going to win. All right. So this one this one is real and it is it it, it affected the I shit hope it's better out of than bottled water it is it's it's kind of one of the ones but it is going to be credit card interest huh yeah credit card the interest on credit cards you just nay hey man okay. just let it make his what? pick. so okay. that, that is a good fucking lose. answer oh, that's okay. a great answer yeah. no dude that's dude, what i'm telling kills you kills you my man brother yeah fine amen brother Dickhead. all right what do you got Derek? last two uh i'm gonna go with I'm going to go with a hot tub. Okay. Yeah. Those are always on marketplace. Yeah. That's a good one, I think. You wanted a fucking pool, dude. That's I a big-ass hot tub. Yeah, it's a little different. You can't dig that up and sell it. Whatever. Uh, and then I'm going to go with a P.O. box. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sure was. <laughs> nice. We got a lot of cool uh. shit from you guys, but God damn, they wanted that's a lot yeah. for that. Yeah. That's funny. That was like uh. three or 400 fucking dollars. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, the one, this that's totally true, uh, but this is the one that I was kind of waiting on, and I was hoping nobody would pick it because it's it's kind of a catch twenty two because some people like it really works out for them, but I, lottery tickets, like the fucking scratch yeah, off I lottery agree. tickets, waste of fucking money, waste of money. Yeah. How about you, JP? Last last overall pick. Condoms. Yeah. Fuck you. What a waste of fucking money. <laughs> Just shoot it in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Willie Mays died. What? Yeah. Yeah. 90, uh, 93 or 94. 93, it yeah. said. Yeah. Is Man. He, is he the best of all time? No. Who do you think is the best of all time? The best baseball player of yeah. all time? Wild thing. Fuck, I don't my know. My uncle thinks Willie Mays is the best of all time. Could be. Yeah, I mean, he's up there. Wild thing, Vaughn. Yeah, he, he was up. He's, no, he had control problems there for a while. Yeah, but he, once he got them glasses. I think Benny Agbayani. Benny Agbayani is definitely up there. Uh, okay, fine. Anywho. Ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's draft of things people waste a lot of money on uh, or waste the most money on. What do you think? What do you got? What do you uh, think? Some other ones? No, no, oh, yeah. You got some other options? Oh, I got some other ones. Yeah. Boat. Okay, go for it. A boat yeah. oh, was on there. Fuck. Boat's a good one. That's, I had. I like boat. An above ground pool. The best one. I was gonna say jet skis or boat. Either uh, one. Boats. I should have took boats over two of my uh, picks. RV or camper. No. So one. there's some good things with that. Christmas sweaters. Hey. That was up there for me. <laughs> it's fun for me. And then Paramount Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Any any of those services, the ones that you don't ever use, yeah, fuck those. But I didn't. I got Paramount pick one. Plus for fucking uh, Beavis and Butt. That's what I did. Now they're going to Comedy Central. Yeah. Uh, do, do they have their own premium streaming service too? I don't think so. Oh. Not yet. Okay, it's coming though. It's coming. Yeah, it's yeah. probably coming. Comedy Plus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's draft uh, for uh, things people waste a lot of their money on. Uh, you can go to an, uh, v- and you can go to <laughs> facebook.com slash laughing the sidelines Christ. and Twitter, which is at LOT sidelines, and vote for the list that you like the most. And you cannot vote for mine. That's perfectly fine. I understand. <laughs> uh, but whoever wins next week, uh, I don't know. Derek, are you here next week or no? You're no, off. I'm no, off. you're off. Baseball um, again. So it's basically JP or myself uh, by technicality, whatever. Uh, but now. So we, just vote for me just now. Vote, yeah, save at this some point, time. just save some time. Uh, but now we get to Bottled move on water. <laughs> Fuck. to my favorite part of every he single episode. Mean it. He, <laughs> he yeah. doesn't mean it. Don't this, listen to him. It's okay. <laughs> this is the laughing on the sideline shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation brought to you by JP. Because it's my month. Nah, it's Men's Health Month and also... That's uh, right, gentlemen. Get those prostates checked. (laughs) Derek the Rick Alders as well. All right. Yeah. There you go. 
That's, Derek is actually at that age. I think that yeah, he might need I'll a discounted uh, examination. Let yeah, me, I'm going to use know, your man. toothbrush. <laughs> okay. I'll, check it. I'll check it out. Okay. That way I can clean it up while I'm up there. That's good. probably a good idea. Probably uh, needs a little spring cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> a little spring. Hey, I, w- I just use so, Japanese toilets. For like yeah, minutes. right. It's I'm good. the cleanest clean. asshole yeah. out of the three of us. Yeah, bullshit. If anybody's ass smells like the, backs, the hot air out of the back of an Xbox, it's him. Yeah. Oh, it's you. It's both of you. I stay ready, baby. Uh huh. I'm sure. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is: Would you rather have to concede every single argument you have with your spouse, or have a mariachi band play for you every night you have dinner? I'm conceding the argument. Okay. Ditto. We, we don't argue. Okay. Yeah. Really at all. Right? And if we do, and I concede, that's the end of the fucking argument. <laughs> yep. And I might get sex. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you know, he annoys me, but I mean, he does tell me I'm right all the time. He there sure does. Goes. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm I, I, yep. I mean, yeah. I, I can in my go to my go to the room and just be like, Fuck, the mariachi God, band might be okay for a little while, but after a while, that shit's gonna get old. Oh yeah. It's a funny joke for maybe the first or second time and then it's gonna get then old. it's gonna get really yeah. fucking old i agree and uh yeah i'm not down for that uh i i here's the other thing if i can see this a lot of my arguments to my wife it's probably for a goddamn good reason i'm probably doing something dumb and what, i what I, you're I not doing save my life is you're not going out for a drink after a concert that's anymore. totally <laughs> true when you guys argue do you ever stand on a chair so you can look her in the eyes while you're arguing uh, with her <laughs> we are the that same. might help we are the same height i doubt that no we really are we are the exact same height oh boy yep if she wears heels though i gotta stand on a step stool so <laughs> that's the way it works uh but anyways guys thank you guys very very much uh for coming on the show both jp and Derek. uh it's always fun um Derek's not gonna be here next week uh, do we have any shows for anybody? I know Steve Peters just had his Beat Peters open mic yeah. thing. I, I wanted it. to go to that. I'm Me so too. I, I, didn't go, I wanted no. to go too. They're doing a lot more stuff at. They're going to do uh, it again. Yeah, they're doing. They're doing a lot more shows at Vorshay's. Remind me when we get done. I want to oh. talk to you about that deal. Okay. okay. Are right, what about you, JP? Are you going to do any open mics here coming up soon? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Mm-hmm. And well. if I do, then nobody wants to come to an open mic. Uh, you're probably right. But yeah, it might be a good time. The comedians don't want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> like. That's practically who all is there, isn't it? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so very much for tuning in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Uh, do us a favor, like and subscribe. Uh, that helps us out a lot on all of the platforms, uh, including uh, YouTube, um, especially so we can get back in good graces for those yes. p- particular people. Um, and yes, keep on doing what you're doing as far as sharing our content. That helps us grow when we sincerely do appreciate it. And guys, as we always like to say, do us a favor if you like us. And if you don't like us. If you like us, what? Huh? He said, do us a favor if wow. you like us. If you like You're us. On oh, my tonight. God. It's if you like us, you. tell your friends. But if you don't like us. We hope you overdose on ivermectin. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us. Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see you all later. Take care. <laughs>